And we back after a little two week hiatus. We're back with Cocktails in La Casa with me, Jade of All Jades. So we're headed to the Kentucky Derby today, minus the racism. We're going because we're celebrating the year 1926 and I'll tell you why at the very end of this video. But in honor of our prohibition era and our little vintage era, we are gonna make a mint julep, but we're gonna add a zhuzh on it and add watermelon so that we can brighten it up and enjoy the last of what we have of this LOL summer LOL. So, I've already started. Now, if you don't know what a mint julep is, it's a cocktail that was popular in the Prohibition era, and it's literally bourbon, specifically bourbon, simple syrup or sugar, and mint muddled together. That's it, very easy. But I just wanted to add my spin on it, and our cocktail today is called the 1926. So I've already added about two, three chunks of watermelon. Watermelon. And I did about eight sprigs of mint. So I'm gonna get that muddled up really good with a half an ounce of simple syrup because we don't want it too sweet. We want it to complement that bourbon. And you want to muddle that really good because you want that good minty flavor through there. And mint pairs so well with watermelon. I'm actually not a mint girl. I hate mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm not really, I'm not really that girl. But something about mint and watermelon pairs really nice together. So I want to get that muddled up really, really well. Just simple syrup, watermelon, and mint. And then I'm going to add my ice. Just a little bit because we want to chill it. And I'm going to do an ounce and a half of my Noah's Mill bourbon. Plug, plug for my child. And we're going to shake. Nineteen twenty six. Who is that? Oh, why don't you come and see me sometime, May West? <laughs> Giving y'all a little May West cocktail. Why don't you come and drink with me sometime? So I'm gonna add my cocktail in, and a little more ice, and I'm gonna taste it. And I'm gonna do it raw with my mouth today because I'm not running over to get no straws. Tastes like summer in a cup. It makes me feel like I actually went somewhere this year. Mmm, that is so good. That watermelon is not overpowering. It's super fresh and super refreshing. I love it. The mint julep is the OG. If you want to do it a non-traditional way and brighten your flavor just a smidge, you can add a touch of lemon. Now, I have to tell you why we're doing the mint julep and why our cocktail is called the 1926 because this episode is dedicated to my good friends at 1926 NYC, a vintage shop located here in New York City that is now completely available online only because of COVID. But I got this wonderful poison ring. That's what it's called. Don't y'all be coming after me. It's a poison ring, but it has a little compartment. How cool is that? And then my beautiful earrings. So you see, I tried to keep it vintage -y today for my friends at 1926. And in honor of that, they are giving 20% off site-wide on all rings to our beautiful listeners. All you have to do is put in the code 1926JADE, and it's available starting Wednesday, August 19th. So in honor of all of that, make sure you all go check out my friends at 1926. Make sure you try out this delicious cocktail, and I'll see you all next week. Bye. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, I feel pretty and witty and gay, and I pity any